Hi and welcome, Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to set up a brand new TP-Link router as well as doing a port forwarding for your Xbox One. Now, if you look at the box here, it says AC1900. This is the router that I'll be doing the setup and port forwarding. If you're interested to buy this router, I'll link them in the description below. We'll direct you to Amazon um, where you can get this router from. All right, let me walk you through what are the cables in the back of the router here. So on the very far right, the black cable here is your power cable that goes to the outlet. The white cable here is your internet service provider cable coming from your modem or the router that goes into the blue color port here. So internet service provider, the one that you pay monthly service for your internet at home. This is the cable that should connect to the blue color port. Now the orange color port here, there are four ports, one, two, three, four. These are where you connect all your devices for. Mainly would be your computer, maybe the printer, maybe to your television or your, to your internet camera security, things like that. So this one here, you should connect to all your home devices. And this one here is coming from your internet provider that you pay the monthly service for your internet. All right, that should be it. And let me switch it to the other screen and walk you through step by step on how to set it up. Now, this blue color cable here is actually connected to my laptop here. So the blue color connects to the laptop. I'll be switching the screen over and you can take a look at the laptop screen. All right, in this laptop screen here, um, first we need to go ahead and set up the TP-Link router. And you can go to any browser. It could be Firefox, Google Chrome, or Microsoft Edge. In my case, I'll be using Microsoft Edge. On the very top bar here, I'll be typing tp-link-wifi.net. So tp-link-wifi.net is what you need to type. Go ahead and press enter. It will bring you to the login screen of the, uh, not the login screen, the setup screen of your brand new router. Now we're gonna ask you to give it a name, uh, give it a password. So put a password in to complete the setup. So once you enter the password, go ahead and click let's get started. In the setup process, it would ask you to select your time zone. I'll be selecting Hawaii for my case. Click next. You can leave it by default as the dynamic IP. 90% of the time, most of the residential would be dynamic IP address, meaning it's automatic given by your internet provider. But if you're coming from the commercial or the business section, you may have to click on the static IP address. Static IP is given by your internet provider. If every month the service that you pay for the internet and they tell you, hey, you need to have the static IP in order to work, you need to click on the static IP to go to setup. But in my video here, I'm not doing the static IP because my internet provider is automatic or we call it dynamic IP. So 99% of you guys, out there should be a dynamic IP. Click next. Dynamic IP, recognize, don't have to do anything, just click next. Here it says personalize wireless settings. You want to give it a name for your Wi-Fi and password for your Wi-Fi. For my case, I'll be using the default name and the default password given by the router. Click next once you're done. Applying settings and connecting to the internet. Success. Right, we have completed setting up the brand new TP-Link router at this point. Click next or you might want to write down the Wi-Fi and the password that you just entered. Click next. When you get to this page, you say get TP-Link cloud service. We do not want to do any cloud with the TP-Link. 
so you can just skip for now all right so here brings you the, the dashboard of your router and the setup is all completed all right i'll be logging out and the next part is i'll be showing you on how to do the port forwarding for your xbox one assuming that your router is all completed setup and the next thing you need to do is to open up the browser microsoft edge chrome or firefox type in the tp link wifi.net and log into your router once you log into your tp link router at the dashboard section here you should see the globe have the little check mark meaning that you have internet coming into your router your router here is doing great it's broadcasting 2.4 and 5 gigahertz of wi-fi and clients meaning that the devices is connected to your router at this point here i only have one device which is my hp laptop is connected uh, you may have you should have more than one device being connected to your router especially your xbox one now to do the port forwarding you want to look for the icon at the very far right it says advance click on advance on the left column here it says net forwarding click on that and click on port forwarding in this port forwarding we need to click on the plus and we want to give it a name so for xbox one you're going to say xbox okay and this is udp and tcp that is required which is 3074 and this is just a name that you want to name xbox 3074 and here you want to click on view connected devices by like i said you should have additional more than one device connected to your router especially your xbox but for my case i don't have the xbox connected i only have my hp laptop connected at this point so go ahead and look for your xbox mac address if you're not sure where to look for the mac address go to your xbox settings network you should see something like this this kind of mac address make sure it match and listed on your router once you see your xbox here go ahead click on that xbox and automatically the router should bring up an ip address now this is the port that we need to forward 3074 internal 3074 all right and the protocol is all because we needed tcp and udp for this 3074 so select all for now click save we have protocol for all meaning tcp and udp port number 3074 next we need to add another one for the tcp and udp which is xbox 53 that's the port number 53 that's what we need to open select your xbox device again and put 53 Five, three and click save now we have both ports being open now we need to add the third one just give it a name xbox 88 we need to open our xbox 88 port go ahead and select your xbox and we're going to put in 88 for external internal for 88 as well and this is only required for udp we don't have to select TCP, but just the UDP. Click Save. Now we have the UDP for port 88. The next port is required is port 80. So let's put Xbox 80. Click View Devices. Select that Xbox and put 80 here. And this port 80 we needed is for TCP. All right, remember port 80 is for TCP. Click save. Now we have added port 80 for TCP. 
Next, we have three more ports to go. Click Add, Xbox 500. All right, we need to open our Xbox 500. Let's go ahead and do that. Select Xbox, put in 500, 500, 500 is UDP. Click Save. Two more to go. Xbox, 3544. There's a port that we need. 3544, 3544, and this is UDP. And finally, the last port that we need to add is 4500 Xbox 4500. Select your Xbox device 4500, 4500, and this is your UDP port, and click Save. All right, so we have added all the ports that is needed for this purpose and just kind of give a quick summary here service name 3074 is both of them tcp and udp port 53 is tcp and udp port 88 is for udp port 80 is for your tcp Port 500 is for your UDP, and last port 3544 is for your UDP as well. So once you have opened up all the port forwarding for this, you should be all set for the port forwarding on your Xbox One. If you find this video is helpful, please go ahead and click the like and subscribe. And I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching, and until next time. Take care now. Bye.